Hey guys, Shane here. So this video is going to be all about how you can go about calculating your net worth and comparing it to other people that are around your same age. Now the average net worth by age will probably shock you, hopefully in a good way. And the average wealth by age between, you know, somebody who's like 20 or someone who's 30 or 40, there's a completely different. There's a huge gap, especially in this day and age where nearly everybody's in debt. It's great to see where you're at compared to other people who are around your age. This is most important if you're a millennial or you're a young person watching this because you're just going to be shocked at what the average net worth is for your country for your gender for your age and then I'm also going to compare it to other countries and so you can get a really good perspective of where you're at in the world and how lucky you really are if you're watching this from a first world country so without further ado let's get started gonna jump into the computer right now okay so it's important to note that this information that's on the screen right now is uh, based off of the United States so it's not Canada it's not Australia it's not anywhere else it's the United States so do keep that in mind and this is also calculated based off of households and this was a really good article by wallethacks.com so the median net worth for everybody under the age of 35 is six thousand nine hundred dollars so this is you know everybody grouped together so 18 through 35 um, all of those grouped together and then you take the median of all of that it's six thousand nine hundred dollars so it's not very high and this could be due to several factors I think a lot of it has to do with how much debt people are in I mean even people who become doctors under the age of 35 probably have a negative uh, total net worth because they have to pay like a hundred thousand dollars to get their doctorate but it also could be due to just making poor choices so for instance you know, buying an expensive car that you can't afford, going into debt for that, taking out a payday loan, not saving, not investing your money, not keeping a budget, spending way more than you need to on things like food. All of these things contribute to this low $6,900 median net worth. Now, moving up to the 35 to 44 year old age bracket, it seems like this is the age where people kind of start to get their stuff together. You know, they've got a steady job, they're saving money, they're starting to invest, maybe think about retirement. And so their net worth jumps up to about $45,000, $46,000 almost. And then moving on to the 45 to 54 year old age bracket, they finally hit $100,000 median net worth. So probably around like 49, 50 years old, people hit that $100,000 median net worth. Now I'm gonna go ahead and skip to the very last age bracket here, the 75 plus. So generally, um, you, see, you see that the net worth actually goes down a little bit and your highest net worth is between 70 to 74 years old. Um, and I think the reason for that is because people tend to retire around 65 to 70 and their peak net worth is probably around the time that they retire just because after they retire, they're gonna be living off of their retirement savings. Now, it's a little scary to think that most people in this age bracket only have $225,000 saved because that's simply not enough to retire on. Now, a lot of people this age also might have a pension. That's something that was very common back in the day. It's becoming less and less common, so it's something that we can't really rely on anymore. And then of course they also have social security to help them which is something that may not be around forever there's a lot of people saying it's going to be gone within the next 10 to 20 years so don't rely on that either so it's a little bit scary to see that people are actually living off of $225,000 a year net worth and chances are you won't be able to do that by the time you get that age so it's very very important that you start saving and investing as soon as you can so the big takeaway from this is start investing early Okay, so the data on this next one was gathered by thecollegeinvestor.com. It's a really good study they did. So this actually looks year by year at the average millennial net worth. So you see all the way at the bottom here, uh, at the age of 18, you have a net worth of negative 8,893 because a lot of people at the age of 18, they you know take out college loans and you know they have to pay for that. And then you don't get to a positive net worth until the age of 31. So if you're watching this and you're under 30 years old and you have a negative net worth, you probably are, you know, are very upset about that. But guess what? Almost everybody else under 30 years old also is in the negative. I'm in debt up to my eyeballs. I can barely pay my finance charges. So if you're under 30 years old and you have a net worth of $100, you are better off than most people. Somebody help me. Now do keep in mind, this is the average and not the median. They are calculated a little bit differently. So you can't compare this one to the last slide that I showed you. 
So the interesting thing to note here is, like I mentioned earlier, you know, past generations had other things that they could uh, count on for when they got older. For instance, baby boomers had pensions and they had social security as well as other programs that would help them out when they got older. Generations before the baby boomers, you know, they relied completely on their family. So, you know, when you got old, your family would take care of you. And that doesn't always happen in this day and age just because a lot more people rely on the state. And another thing I want you to notice here is once they actually get back to that point where they have a positive net worth, their net worth starts going up extremely quickly. It starts compounding. And the reason for that is probably because they're starting to invest and they're starting to go into retirement accounts and savings accounts. And the thing is, is most people don't start doing this until around 30 to 35 years old. So if you just start doing this at a younger age, you'll have a huge jump start on everybody else. And I talk about this in a lot of my videos is the difference, you know, in just a few years, like three years, five years, 10 years, can make a absolutely huge difference in the long run when it comes to the power of compound interest and how your investments and savings can be hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars higher than other people if you just start investing the same amount just a little bit earlier. Now, I also wanted to go into your net worth by gender a little bit. So earnest.com did a study where basically they compared uh, a lot of different things, but the most interesting one was gender. And as you can see here, the male gender has a $12,188 net worth, whereas females have $5,541 net worth. So that's about a six to $7,000 difference. And uh, there's a lot of reasons for that, but the biggest reason they found, if you go to the bottom here, the biggest difference here, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom of the study, was investments and retirement savings. So men had $17,000 almost in their retirement savings and 10,000 in their investment savings at the same age as women, whereas women only had 12,000 and uh, about 7,000. So that makes up the majority of that six to $7,000 difference right there. So for some reason, men are deciding to invest and save for retirement at an earlier age than women. Now this video on net worth would not be complete if I didn't also go over average salary by age. So as you can see, uh, from the age of 20 to 24, the average salary is somewhere around $29,000 a year for people who are working full time. As you get a little bit older, it increases quite a bit to about $41,000 a year, almost 42,000 from the age of 25 to 34. And then the age 35 to 44, it jumps quite a bit again, about $51,000. So that's another $10,000 jump. That's pretty significant. But this is where it gets interesting right here, guys. From 45 to 54, it only raises to about $52,000. That's only a $1,000 jump. So as you can see, uh, the increase from ages 35 to 44 to 45 to 54, that 10 year difference does not make much of a difference. And I'm not sure what the reasons for that are. There could be a million different reasons. The first thing that comes to mind is companies do tend to try and hire younger people, probably because they don't have to pay as much uh, for health insurance and that sort of thing. I don't know though, I, I, I honestly don't know. But it is something to keep in mind if you're someone who's thinking about trying to retire early, maybe retire by the age of 45 or so, which is absolutely possible if you start investing early and you make really good choices like budgeting and uh, making good career choices. And these are all things I talk about on the channel in my other videos, so go ahead and check those out. Now, if you do want to compare yourself to other people that are the same age, there is a really good site to do that. It's called stackmeup.com. I'll go ahead and link it in the description. So the way it works is like, let's say you're 25 years old and you're a male. So let's go net worth by gender and age. Choose male and 25 years old. And then you enter your net worth up here. Um, let's say, I don't know, let's, let's say you know, $50,000 net worth. Stack me up. So if you have a $50,000 net worth by the age of 25, your net wealth is ranked in the top 87.81%, and you're about $31,578 more than the average male your age nationally. So you're doing pretty well. If you haven't done it already, you should head over there and just check it out just to see where you're at compared to all of your peers. Now, I do wanna just state again that this is compared to your peers in the United States of America. 
So let's just really quickly go over and check how the rest of the world is doing. So I wasn't able to find any really good research by age or you know gender or anything like that, but overall, adults in the United States of America have a $65,000 net worth, and that's median. And then, and then for mean, it's about $391,000 net worth. And this is by far the highest of anywhere in the world. The next one would be Europe, China, and then Latin America, and then the rest of the world. So if you live in the United States or another first world country, you have a ton of opportunity. Now, when they break it down by country, uh, you know, Iceland has the highest uh, median wealth per adult, uh, then Australia, Switzerland, Luxembourg, Belgium, Netherlands, France, Canada, Japan, New, England, uh, New Zealand, uh, United Kingdom, Singapore, Spain, Norway, Italy, Taiwan, uh, Malta, Ireland, uh, South Korea, Aust Austria, and then the United States. So even if you're kind of struggling a little bit in the United States, you're somewhere in the middle, or maybe you're you know below average, you're still doing pretty well compared to the rest of the world. And that's just something to keep in mind. I think business is moving towards being a little bit more international than just advertising to the United States. So skills that you gain in the United States, you can probably take and then use arbitrage, make a lot more money somewhere else while you're living there, and then have much lower cost of living. This is a really big opportunity that you could take advantage of in the next 10 to 20 years. And that's what this channel is all about, is identifying the big opportunities that are in the world right now. So go ahead and like, subscribe, comment down below, uh, hit the little notification button, and check out my other videos so you don't miss anything that I put out in the future. Have a good one and bye for now.